now that it's finally stopped raining, let's uh, try to actually get some work done. So, I did manage to get uh, last week all the chassis painted, so that definitely helps there. So I'm going to build a floor, I think this week, but I need to order air tanks so I can figure out where to put those. And then the air pumps, and maybe roughly run the exhaust first. So, we have goals here. First, I have to make an attempt to uh, fix the broken exhaust bolts on the motor so I can put the motor in the car. But I was making an attempt to get the stud out and I drilled it, put the easy out in there. And of course, you can see the easy out is broken off inside. And that uh, greatly complicates things. So now I'm going to figure out how to uh, get that thing out of there and not screw up the other ones that I, I got in there. So let's see what I can do. I think the first order is to get the, the welder lined up here. And then, let's go over here to the parts bin. And let's see what we got. I think that guy. And, how about that guy? So, as you can see, we are stuck in there, something fierce. So, I think my idea is to weld the washer on. Maybe I have to get a bigger washer. But weld that over the broken part. And then weld the bolt to the washer. And then unscrew it. Because uh, otherwise, I can't get on there with any vice grips. And I sure the heck can't drill it, so uh, hopefully the, uh, the welding the nut on there works. We'll find out. If not, it'll melt the head and I have to get a new head. As long as it's not worse than that, we'll be all right. Huh. Find a spot to put the ground. All right, so let me clean that area. None of these work. Well, I don't know, maybe that bolt. <laughs> hmm. I think that was the serial number. Probably should not have uh, ground that part. So with that uh, fit over the stud, I'm gonna go ahead and buzz that on there real quick. First need a welding helmet. <sighs> and I of course have flip flops on for maximum safety. I definitely don't want to get it too hot and melt the aluminum, so I think I'm just going to just ch -ch -ch tack on it. So, I got that on there. I'm going to go ahead and buzz the nut on there. So I got that uh, buzzed on there, nice and solid. So now I'll uh, give it a few minutes to let it cool down and then I'll try to back it out and see what happens. In the meantime, I'm gonna do the back one as well and see if that one works out as well. Hey, you can see this one is uh, down in there, almost flush. So I'm gonna try the same trick here, but I better get the old wire wheel and the top of that. <laughs> Uh, let's give this a little try. Uh, 
gonna put the nut on there. All right, now let that cool down and we'll see what, uh, what damage we can do. So oddly enough, it broke all four of the outer studs. It broke all of these on the outside version. Now, there was two on the inside that I broke, but I was able to get those ones out, which is some vice grip, so I got lucky. So using the washer, and the reason you know the washer is being used is because it's easier to place that over the hole and weld to it than trying to get your your MIG torch down inside a bolt. So you take and use the washer because it's easier to get in there. And then you just weld the nut to the washer and now you got something to bite onto. Mosquitoes are terrible today. Yeah, because these things are apparently such a problem with breaking the bolts and the LSs. That there's actually a girdle that you can buy that bolts onto the rest of the existing holes in the head here. And then you can uh, use a pilot drill to drill and use it easy out and get them all out. Uh, but since I went full FUBAR and broke it off inside the thing, uh, we're pretty much screwed. So this is the only other option. All right. Now that's cool to the touch. So let me grab a wrench and see if we can't uh, get that thing off. Yes, the uh, epitome of organization. Yes, I know. Of course not. Mm. Press wrenches always work. It's metric and standard. Oh, look at that. It's working. Look at that, working like a charm. Try that again. And there you go, that worked out just fine. Let's hope the other three are good. Didn't seem to do any real damage there, so that's good. We'll run a tap through that. Let's try the rest. Come on, mama. Oh, yes. Oh yeah, that, that is gonna work great. And moving on down the line here. Yeah, it's like it's got some just crust and corrosion on there, but it came out without fault. Now let's try the one with the uh, broken tap inside, number four. I'm gonna to switch to a socket on this one because this is the one that I do not want to break because uh, that will be absolutely miserable. So let's give it a try. Oh, uh, yeah, that really complicates things now. Not much sure what to do. I guess we'll try it again. Well, let's hope for the best. The other one was just a rough draft. The struggle is real. And we'll let that cool off and uh, give it another try. Fingers crossed. Come on. Slow, baby. Come on, slow. Ugh.
I'm not sure what to do. Because now that sucker's in there. And the more you weld, I think the more damage. So, shit. Luckily, it's time for dinner. So I'm going to go inside, think this out, have a cocktail, try to forget about this, and maybe it'll work itself out. Highly unlikely. I think I'm just going to try welding a little uh, bead right to the end of the stud without the washer first. Maybe a little deeper penetration. At this point, you know, what else do I got? Try that again. Do you hear that? That is the sweet sound of success. Yeah, that's good news. reason to join the gym. And the way I'm rolling this thing is one of those uh, little uh, wheel carts you got. One of those cheapos from the tool store. It actually works surprisingly well. Luckily my driveway is halfway flat so it's not, uh, not that bad. 
All right, so this is where she's gonna sit for the time being. Having it in the garage was nice, but uh, there's no lighting, and frankly, the film doesn't turn out very good. So, so better for uh, the viewer, I will leave it out here, because, you know, it's all about you guys. It's not about me, or my wife, or this car. It's about your entertainment. Just taking some suffering for the team, you know. Now to get this thing on, uh, back on blocks at ride height. Drop the motor in and start building a floor. Well, maybe the exhaust first. We'll see. Actually, probably the exhaust first. That's going to be probably pretty important. Uh, so, we'll get there. Waiting on uh, my valve covers that are ordered for this guy. And I haven't decided where they want to build you know, a new engine cover or just buy one. I mean, I could build a pretty cool one and paint it all to match the car and all that stuff, but time is not exactly on my side at this point, so perhaps uh, I'll push that off a little bit later for one of those projects I'll ever get to ever in my life. But I can dream about it, right?
Now I can get the oil pan changed out. Uh, but that's gonna have to work. I think that's high enough. Yeah, before I get too far along, I'm gonna go ahead and just run a tap through all those so I don't forget. That was the one that got a little boogered up. So, that one needs a little extra special care. Well, that'll work. Looks good. All right, now on to the valve covers. It's looking prettier already. Best thing ever. Ow, mother. So shiny. Those are going to work. Uh, well, these definitely showed up in the nick of time. So these are the valve covers, uh, or coil covers that I got for the motor. Got them on the box, they look great. I uh, assembled them and the cover 
does not fit over the coils. I wish I had discovered that yesterday before I threw all the packaging in the garbage and the trash man came, so now I cannot return them. So I have to figure out a way to make these work. They look nice out of the box. Looks real good. Should have the coil wires come out of there. However, with the coils installed, this way here, and this way here, the cover does not go on any farther than that. Uh, so that just uh, really isn't going to work. That or uh, I'm assembling them incorrectly, which I'm pretty sure I'm not. But there's no instructions, so how would I know? Damn. Another... Well, since I can't return them, might as well uh, make uh, lemonade out of lemons. So let's uh, see what we can do with them. Before I toss them in the garbage anyway. All right, on to the next. And it gets worse because the uh, bolts are too long and the coil actually doesn't snug down all the way. This is uh, looking like a disaster. Although I gotta admit, that does look better than the stock one. Yeah. So there might be some actual function to this, but still, uh, I'm gonna say that's a crappy purchase. So after a few minutes of research, I actually found that the uh, valve covers I got are supposed to use the uh, different kind of coil. So I ordered those and a set of wires got those coming. So one step closer. So sexy. You always got to play dress up a little bit, right? I think it's time to slide this thing into the motor, or slide this thing into the, time to slide the motor into the car. It's been a long day. Close. Now that it's finally stopped raining after, uh, I don't know, a week, I can uh, plug this baby in there. At least before the next rainstorm comes anyhow. I'm trying to work my plan of action to get the, uh, the front back off. Not exactly the lightest thing. I think I'm going to use the engine hoist this time.
yeah, that's not working, so I guess I'm going to have to just use the machismo. Time this thing pops, make me pucker up a little bit. Sounds like my back in the morning. It's just a little short story of my life. permanent. I'm going to button this back up and put the clip back on. Hopefully before it starts raining again anyway. You know, button up a couple little loose ends, do a quick uh, alignment on it, and then uh, pretty much call the front end just about done. Well, no, but it's closer. Changing out these uh, bolts that are too short. Longer ones. It got all sunny outside and it got real hot. So I went and changed into shorts and now clouds rolled in. It looks like it's going to start raining again. So uh, I need to wrap this up real quick here. I'm going to go ahead and throw some shims in here and uh, 
set my uh, camber. Got my uh, caster and my camber set and uh, it's about ready to get going because it's going to start coming down if you can't hear it in the background. But uh, I know, sometimes I just can't help myself. So cool. Seriously, I could do this all day. This will be fun. That's the last time. I do have the hood hinge for it that I got, so I just need to freshen that up and I'll put that together. One more piece. These are sleeve deer bags. Generally pretty good for the rear.
There's actually a special tool for this. I don't have it. So we're going old school. Are you ready? I'm ready. Watch this. Uh, yeah, I could do this all day long. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time.